just when you thought the 2021 Bronco was headed our way and uh, everybody was really jacked about it, Ford put the brakes on again. All right, so we were really excited because we got a flurry of emails over the past few days uh, kind of telling us where our Bronco is going to be. Uh, and it was a little like a tug of war or like one of those hooks that goes over and like hooks in your mouth, pulls you one direction and then another hook comes in and pulls you the other direction. Uh, and we're trying to figure out what was going on. And then this morning it, boom, it hit. But first let's tell you about the emails. Uh, we got uh, our first email uh, which said that we were going to get our Bronco, and this was back in July, we were going to get our Bronco built on. Uh, the first email was the week of uh, this August 16th. Right. Yeah. So then we were really excited, really excited, really excited. Uh, we're looking forward to the 16th of this month. And in my head I was thinking, there's no way we're going to get it the 16th. They're going to push it back. Uh, and then... A week later, we got another email saying that, hey, it has been moved up to the week of the 9th. The week Great of the 9th. That's this week. <laughs> That's this week. Right. We're going to have it built this week. Right. That's the second email we got. Then the next day, which is a couple of days ago, we got our third email, which said, Now it's going to be the week of September 6th. Boom! We got a push back. So here we are uh, thinking the 16th and then, uh, hey, Ford's got their act together and we're going to get our Bronco early. Uh, and then immediately the day after, pow! And uh, yeah, so now we're pushed back to September. Why? So I asked my dealer, dealer said, yeah, it's probably just some kind of issue we don't know about yet. Parts um, issue or something. Yeah, parts issue or something like that. Just kind of left it at that. Uh, but now this morning we come to find out that Ford has a much bigger problem with the hardtop than they originally thought. So uh, at this point, it's not just about fit. It's about the fact that apparently they delaminate with extreme weather, like extreme water. So at this point, they are going to essentially give anybody who has taken a, a Bronco at this point, and they're going to be giving them a free top or giving them another top as part of their customer satisfaction program that they have going on. So if you already have a Bronco and you're sitting at home and you're looking at your Bronco, apparently there Ford. is a major... <laughs> Yeah, what was that? So you might want to contact Ford. Yeah, you, you may. You, well, I don't even know if you have contact. They, <laughs> they, they say in the memo to the Ford dealers uh, that you don't have to do anything if you already have your vehicle, that they will contact you. But like Mandy said, I would probably contact my dealer. Yeah. Uh, and they're going to get you a replacement top because apparently your top is going to delaminate. Um, for people like me who have a scheduled date, um, and it is a first edition or some two-door and wall tracks, uh, those are still gonna be 2021s, but they will obviously be moved back like ours did. And in fact, we're probably gonna get moved back again. Um, and But almost anybody else at that point, if you have not gotten a date yet, they're pretty much saying in here, uh, yeah, your, your vehicle is now a 2022. Uh, so look into this a little bit more. It says, um, my, um, uh, they give you like questions. My vehicle date has passed. Uh, no action is required. Your vehicle is unfortunately impacted by the above customer satisfaction action uh, at the Michigan assembly plant awaiting replacement roof and we'll prioritize oldest units first and send you more details of delivery. Um, probably in September is what it says. It says my, bro uh, my Bronco with a molded in color hardtop is scheduled for production. No action required. Your vehicle is unfortunately impacted and it goes on and on. I don't have a scheduled production date yet. Um, as a result of continued roof challenges, we'll be producing fewer 2021 models for the Bronco than initially planned. If your two-door or four-door Bronco hardtop order has not been scheduled for production yet, except for the first edition, Maybe. you will be receiving a 2022 model of your Bronco. So uh, obviously this is not what anybody wants to hear and it goes on and on and on. If you go to Bronco 6G and look at the website, it's the first thing on there. Go through and read all that. We're not gonna go through all that now. That pretty much sums it up right there. Um, so we have, a, as you can tell by looking at our, our channel, we have a lot of emotions about this uh, Bronco. Um, we don't want it, we do want it. Uh, obviously we would like it sooner than later. And we definitely don't want a 2021 that comes out the day before the 2022 hit because at that point your depreciation just smacks you right in the face and you can't do anything about it. So, uh, but you know, this at least explains why 
We got two emails in a row on two different days moving it up and then moving it way back. Uh, but fingers crossed, we're still looking at less than a month before it goes into production, so that's not bad. If, if that actually can happen, uh, then I think I consider ourselves blessed uh, and that we're probably going to get our Bronco uh, by the end of September, maybe early October, and still hit the leaf change here in Colorado, uh, nice. which would be awesome. Yeah, and we'll show you guys too. We'll go out for a leaf change drive, uh, which is spectacular here. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, sorry about the bad news, uh, but it will get brighter and we will get our Broncos. By the way, you might want to look on 6GL, so there's a picture of like hundreds of Broncos sitting in a field. Uh, and it looks interesting. Bronco 6G, hit that and, and go and look at that. Um, I, I couldn't believe how many Broncos are sitting out there in the field. That's a wrap for my point through garage. My name is Chris. I'm Mandy. And we will be back soon with more of our old Bronco build and all of the new projects that we've taken on, which is an exciting new part of our channel. And visit our website, mile3garage.com, for some exciting stuff and also any and all of our merch that's on there.